Hi, crafty friends. You guys, I love when we can get things at Dollar Tree that you would never expect for crafting that you can use for crafting. So we're gonna use these little mouse traps, and I'm just going to use the wood, so I'm just pulling off all of the parts. Um, I've shown you guys this before, and I had so many people say, well, why wouldn't you just buy a piece of wood? Well, the nice thing was they were already cut for me, so I didn't have to worry about that. But anyways, I just went over the top of this sign with some paint, and then I also did each one of the, um, uh, what are those called? Mousetraps. <laughs> so I just kind of used another, <laughs> oh, it's been a day. I just kind of used another um, uh, paint just to kind of distress them a little bit. But the magic of distressing with a Dollar Tree item is my favorite thing to do. So here in a minute, you can see I'm just kind of painting all the pieces right now. But here in a minute, we are going to distress with a kitchen sponge here it is whoops got a little bit over there so i just kind of push it all down on there and then you just start swiping over you can do as much as you want as little as you want but look how easy it is that's what i love i have spent so much time trying to figure out how to distress how to make it look like this how to do that and the kitchen sponge by far is the easiest way to do it. So I'm doing a couple of different colors here just to kind of add a little bit more of uh, dimension to it. And it's that simple, you guys. So if you have not tried this, definitely do because I think you're going to be surprised. And the nice thing is you can just reuse those sponges, just wash them out or just I just let them dry sometimes with the paint in it. And then I'm like, Whew, we'll just use it again. Since the paint's dry, put something else over it because the stiffer that sponge is with the little green area where all the stuff is, the better distressing you get. So for this, I'm just using <laughs> some Mod Podge and one of the Dollar Tree napkins, and we're just gonna kinda add that on. We're doing it kinda like this little shelf, and then the um, mouse traps, we're gonna put letters on them, and then paint over the top, so then we pull the letter off, we get the outline. Would that be the outline? Yeah, ish. Outline of the <laughs> ish. Ish is my favorite word in crafting. Um, outline of each one of the letters so that we can see. Now, definitely if you try this, make sure that your paint that we did before is completely dry. And then I go over with a little coat of Mod Podge and let that dry too. That way it just gives you really crisp lines on those letters and then the letters will pull off without tearing or anything like that. So here you can see I put the paint over the top of it. Look at me not wearing gloves like always. <laughs> so bad about this um and then once we do that and it kind of just you know i didn't wait for it to dry just i get right in there and start to pull it off um and then you get the outline of that letter so cute love this so much so we're gonna put the whole thing together and set the display up and look how cute i just love this love distressing this way all right friends thanks so much for watching don't forget to follow the page for more crafts